Hey everybody, hope you're all having a good day. Time to try Banners Live as along along with the next version in the game as well. I think it's version 8.7. I'll double check that when we get there. Right, let's go for the map first. So we have Bernadetta, a uh, Persecution Bow, a Vacant Sanfos, Attack Plus 3. At the start of combat, if penalties active on her or for his speed 100 percent or below. Attacks people plus 5 during combat and Eugene's attack combats are. If she uses combat, she can make a power attack for the full counter attack. I'm probably just adding debuffs that will last for next action. She does have a refined attack, which I think will take one, deal that one damage, which will, will trigger the thing here. I just don't fully remember. She does have refinement, that's all I remember. Archer Sacrifice restores 10 HP to target ally, but she's in 10 HP, but her HP cannot go below 1. Attack speed pitch 4. As our combat, if HP is 100% or above, attack speed plus 7, but if the combat, if she attacks, she takes high damage. Uh, slow speed defense 3, speed defense minus 3 on the foe, and neutralize foe's wounds is from skills like speed defense. Sorry, neutralize foe's wounds is speed defense, sorry, from skills like 4 or 5 allies, etc. during combat. And close guard 3. Allies in 2 spaces against if foe uses a sword, axe, lance, drags from the base, defense rest plus 4 during combat. Then we have female layer with liberation. A style switch here, current comments 1. At start turn, if HP is 20% or above, Grants charge to her and support partners so with increased of power for one turn. At the start of combat, if HP is 20% or above, grants attack speed defense rest plus 5 to her during combat, and affects speed defense minus X on the foe during combat. And the X is the number of distant game tiles among allies and increases of her times 4 plus 4, the max is 12. Creature badge number, so in this case, uh, 3 different game tiles would work. And also, if she has space of foe, reduce the damage of foes attack during combat and effects pressures, extreme rogue. By the percentage equal to the difference in the stats, times 4 up to 40%, tens by number. And charge is that she can move 3 spaces in the corner direction, so horizontal or vertical. And uh, can I move for foes, terrains and stuff like that. You know, that. and it's granted, uh, it's treated as a warp movement. And then Luna, 2 charge back grab. Choose foes defense and res as it is by 50% during combat. Attack speed idea 4. At start of combat, if her hit speed is 100%, over is active on her. Attack speed plus 7 during combat. If both mitigations are met, you get an additional bonus to those two stats for a net bonus of 9. And bonus just any bonus that lasts for the next turn. That also includes charge, by the way. Close call 4. Speed defense minus 4 on the foe during combat. And if a skill compares her speed to the foe's or ally speed, her speed is as straight as it has been as ground plus 7. And then if she speeds the foe, reduce signs her attacks during combat or her specials. X can of course. By the percentage equal to damage stats times 5, up to 50%, and it's about to number of course. And then if she needs to come out, she moves one space away after combat. And speed smooth 4. After combat, uh, fixed speed minus 7 on target and floats in 2 spaces of target for this action. Then she gets plus 6 speed and dodge. Dodge is just the FGO speeds, reduced damage. Nope. It's similar to just liberation and effect. Essentially. So we need to cover it again. Then we have to do Steph as X. If he's in, in two speeds of an ally, attack defense plus five to him and neutralize balance to his attack defense during combat. Passive, reduce damage from adjacent foes attack by 50%. Sturdy sounds free. If Odin is combat order, sorry, yeah, if Odin is his combat, attack defense plus six during combat and fix coin card minus one on the four per attack. Then attack defense needs to save free. If foe uses a sword, axe, lance, strength, stone, or beast, and this is combat against an ally in two spaces, trigger savior. And if Sacred Trigger, attack defense plus 4 during combat. Savior just means he fights instead of the ally. Uh, standard room type rules apply. And if two more allies have the same Savior conditions met, neither will trigger. Two more, sorry, two or more. And any after combat move effects won't trigger on him. That's about it, so best on your summons. I believe Alayr is the only one that's in the main general pool. I'm just gonna go for Alayr. I might already have a copy of her, but, you know, an extra copy might not hurt. We have something, we have a force at least. Can't, okay. Alright, that's fine. And then let's go through the update. As well, so we'll tell the Tempest Trial as well, I guess. Uh, Tempest Trial, where is your info? Here you are, to do. Let's see what you do. Anchor X plus. Oh, right, green X cap layer units. Infantry, sorry. At the start of combat, if HP is 20% or above, grants attack defense plus 5. Then it grants 
attack, defense plus axe times 5 to him. Axe is a nerf allies with 55 or more attack, within 3 rows for combat time, plus allies, nerf allies with 44, with, sorry, 40 more defense in the same area. The maximum straight, okay. Then effects, cloning, kite, minus 1 of the full per attack, okay. Passive. Uh, we've already covered that, we've basically covered that already. Uh, solid ground, attack defense plus 5, and then rest plus 5, minus 5. I even defense we have to start eating them returns. Uh, defense plus six to humans just now for one turn, even though damage is even though there's no it's just not as present. Uh, I think defense is gonna be the four star and solid grounds to five. I'm over the two sticker seals. Defense has snag and attack speed ring one. Alright. So let's go for the up. Okay, that little brief. So let's go for the update. 8.7. It was, okay. So now you can select multiple engage heroes and your skill sets. Obviously we're starting to get more, so. It'll just make things easier, I guess. So yeah, let's equip and uh, so I'll check the what we think. And then I was that. Uh we'll cover we'll see what the notes and as here as skill differences are. And but they are essentially replacing, so I'll go through them a bit later. They're quite long though. Uh new lineup, so Summer Alkba and Summer Niffle are your five stars. And Sylvia, Kant, Lapis, Desert Hawkeye, and the Gult are your four stars. We'll come with the Reverend Fangs, we'll have them ready, by the way, don't worry, we'll do them too. Then new ones events, basically, I can get them. Of course, both targets going up to level 12, and offense defense. Two new songs, we'll check them out. Uh, Summer Duel up to 40 50. And then Fallen Lloyd Al and Groom Alcres are added to the uh, thing. Uh, Heroic Grails. Uh, they're correcting the thing with Stall. Oh, that's what they said. They need to fix it. So, Gulfer and then Gulfer Spice been adjusted. And then adjusted. Okay. I mean, I still don't figure out what that is, but. I'm not saying much. Anyway, let's go for the new weapons first. Oh, right, no, you didn't have one. It's Musta Mustafa got one. Pledging more axe. Start a turn if HP is 20. Sorry, if he's in two speeds of an ally. Defense plus plus six on full combat fall attack. To human allies in two speeds of him for one turn. Then if he needs to come with orders from two speeds of an ally, attack speed defense plus four to him. And guarantees fall attack during combat. Oh, that's not too bad. And then let's see your one. Uh, attack defense minus 5 and cone crit minus 1. Uh, only has minus 10 attack. Oh, foes are in free war to comp center of him. And those foes suffer guaranteed follow attack during combat. And then restore some HP to him after combat. Okay. Alright, so let's go into. Let's check these new skills differences. It's just the faster way I can check it out. So, note. So, first off, yeah, it just upgrades this encounter to Distant Dark. Okay. That's not too bad. I'll put it on. No, no reason for not to. Okay, let's see. So, first off, yeah, the, it's, uh, the command speed is new. Then, start combat, HP is 20 percent above, attack speed, defense. So, it's just that defense into that attack, into that reflection. This has equal to 10%. That's how the new one sees deals obviously with 10% of her attack. Yep. Yeah. Armor disappears into foes, no special reduce times by X percent scale by 50%. Yep. And also FGI space to foe. Reduces that. And then actually ends times 5 instead of times 4, so max is 50 instead of 40. Okay. Honestly, that's a decent improvement. Yeah, no, I can see that being useful. Or being a lot better. Then let's go to Ashira. Shoot, I don't have the points for it. It's fine. So, a new one was... Low, I believe? So, it's just... A... So, basically, regardless, she just got to just get a stronger version of her mode skill. An order restraint. And plus. Sorry, sorry, turn. Attack rest plus six. No fun. Adds no fun and hacks blade to the mix. Okay, look. And also, a number of... 
And then if number of allies is spirit more, grants attack rest plus Snow of panic, no all up, and you should Okay, and then she gets an additional pink grant to her. Okay, and then if her And then if she's been three speed ally, attack speed defense was plus four. Okay. Honestly, that's a decent improvement. So let me just double check. Because I apparently forgot the fully love of her skill. It was slow, okay, so she just got stronger versions of her skill. Weapon refinement's time. So I see yours, you're usually not. So if only she's counted for she speed sending her standard above the start of combat. Attack defense minus five on the foe and flex pounds of foe's attack defense equal to 15% of his defense at the start of combat. Grants Cooling Crane plus one to him per attack. And so it's and Nujai Pounds is attack defense during combat. And a visual plus three, he's free. Honestly, that's pretty good. I mean, let's see what the Plagian War Axe is like to. At the start of combat, HP is 20% or above. Attack speed defense plus four to him. And he deals damage equal to 15% of the first attack. Okay, look. Arm reduce damage for foods first attack by 40%. First attack normally means first strike. First attack to say attack twice. It's first attack. It's alright. Alright. Wait. Oh, because it's Cordelia. Never mind. Shinon. It's the other one. Okay, let's see the difference in double bow. This house is here. It's. Okay. If number is an ally is one or less, grants attack speed defense was fight to him. He can counter guards the food's range. Uh neutralist effects that affects colon card minus accent him during combat. Uh, so when he's down to the foe, during combat heals seven HP. Honestly, it's less conditional, which is really good. Like that's a mini improvement, like it's less conditional. Then the start of combat if HP is 20% or above, grants attack speed defense was before him. If X pounds on foes, attack speed defense equal to 8 minus number of allies to him times 2, the minimum is 0. Okay. I'm doing some of foes first attack by the 20% of his speed. Okay, so we have a little bit of true damage reduction. Okay. And then we'll cover that. And then his next attack deal sounds equal to total number of damage reduced by foes first attack. Yeah, no, I can see that being a good scale. Alright. Yeah. I'm just gonna sweat teens here. It's my leave easier. Whoops. So yeah, no, that's a good. What's a good performance? So let's get Ingrid out of the way. Star point Lance. So speed plus three, yes. Then attack speed defense plus five to her. And when he tries, facts guarantees full auto attack. I'm guarantees full attack defense hers. And okay, that's unconditional. And then and if it's her first combat, initiated by full or first combat initiated by her. Reduce the percentage of foes, no spell reduce time for extra skill by 80% during combat. Otherwise, it's by 40. And then heals the enemy after combat. Yo, that's actually way better than what she was in Han. Then, a spell, a spell speaker could come in one. Uh, at the start of turn, if she's been two speeds of an, of an armored ally, an infantry ally with a range that's one, or a flying ally with a range that's one. Attack speed plus six, she can move one extra space, that's her only this attack. Count to one and special colon charge plus one to her per attack. High supply supplies is a stack. To her and those allies one turn. Nice support buff. And then if she's within two speeds of an ally, attack speed defense rest plus four to her and deal dance equal to 20% of her speed. And just counter just means she can move one extra space that the attack is a skill charge protection. Kind of warp and stuff like that. Honestly? That's pretty good! Chris, Blade of Shadows Plus. It says rear, full ninja combo, the full HP is Okay, less conditional on the full speed speeder. Neutralize his penalties and flex attack speed defense minus 5 on the full. Neutralize effects and flex colon. Okay, minus axe on him or grounds for colon plus axe on him. So 10 moves out to the weapon. That seems to be a common occurrence I'm losing. Then there's our combo with HP is 30% or above. Grounds attack speed defense plus 4. Jim reduces my full sword attack by 40%. On deal sound equal to 20% of his speed. And so we deal sound to the foe, we're sort of HP to him. The additional refine fight is good. I can see it being useful for what he does. Yeah. Right, Ashira. Okay, attack plus three, yes. At the start of combat, if HP is 20% or above, or bonus is active on her. Attack speed defense rest plus five to her during combat, and grants boost her attack during combat. Equal to has two of the bones among Ally, her and allies increases of her times 
So there's an extra boost, okay. So for example, if an ally in free spaces has attack speed defense plus six, runs attack 36. And so, okay, so it's an extra in the buff, okay. And then reduce damage to foes first attack by 30% during combat. Alright. Then if she needs combat with four changes too, attack speed defense risk plus four to her, reduce damage to foes first attack by X, by X, and X is 50% of the value of the highest total bonuses among her and I to win three species of her. Oh, we have, we, that's moth. I can't be one of them off here. And the fixed clone commands one on the flow per attack during combat. And heals seven pieces Peter after combat. So that's an he's an interesting effect. Okay. And then note, which oh yeah I can do it. Uh, speed plus three pathfinders so they just put it on the top here. And plus three hit speed as well. At the start of turn, if HP is twenty percent or above, grants I isolate as I incited to eyes and two speeds of her excluding herself. Okay, there's a buff in there. Then a start of combat, if HP is 24% above, attack speed defense rate plus 5 to her. And ground smooth attack speed defense res equal to half bonus on each stat between her and I in two spaces of her. And these stats calculate independently. Oh, has bonus, sorry. Has bonus stats. What was it? Okay, yeah, that's, that's, a, bit, that's a lot better than what well, was because it used to be on her. But now it's most over with the allies. And side in the come out, ground spoons for attacking speed, defense rest equal to number of spaces from stop resisting MS on the should come out. Max free that turn only. Then if phone should come out of full C speed center her center above, at the start of combat. Attack speed, defense max four on full. Having weird wire problems, sir. And attack speed defense max four on full, and then flex pounds on attacks of all attack speed defense. Equal to has found each of the foes stop. Sorry, each stop between the foe and foes between two spaces of that foe. Each stat is clicking independently. Reduce damage for first attack by 7, so it's just a flat 7. And grants quote unquote plus 1 to her per attack. High spell distance stat. Honestly, it's a, it's a pretty good refine. I don't know which one's the best here. There's quite a few good ones. Let's go through this new music and then we'll wrap up. Alright, I should, this should be recent. Nope. Oh, they're both here. Right, this is the golden near main story music. Right. Okay. I got that one. So Thick and Cradle. I feel like I've heard that recently and I don't know where. I think I was watching some Fates videos recently, so that may have been it. I don't know where in that those videos. Either way. There's, there's good showing picks. Alright, that'll be it. So we got to turn your finds, and of course, best on your summons. I'll see you next time.